In this tutorial, I will show you how to download and install a print driver for a Lexmark copier. First, we're going to go to your favorite internet browser. Um, you can use Internet Explorer. I choose to use Mozilla Firefox. So go ahead and open your browser. And we're just going to go to Lexmark.com. And then we're going to mouse over where it says downloads and when the pop-up menu shows we're going to click on driver finder and just type in um, just the numbers of whatever model you're looking for um, we're working with the 651 so I'm going to type 651 space driver okay it really doesn't matter whether you use PCL or Postscript um, a lot of a lot of people will say just install the PCL. Um, if you have any problems printing Adobe um, PDFs or any other Adobe products, um, you might try the PostScript driver. You know, if you run into any trouble with that, you know, for everyday printing, you could probably use the PCL and not have any problems at all. So go ahead and find which one will be suitable for you. I'm on Windows 7 running a 32-bit operating system. If you don't know if you're 32-bit or 64-bit, the way to find out is go down to the Start menu, right-click on Computer, click on Properties, and this should work in Windows XP as well. Um, it'll look a little bit different, but I'm Windows 7 is what I'm running. Um, 32-bit operating system. If this said 64, then we would need to download uh, the 64-bit driver. So there's 64. This is 32. This is Windows Vista and Server 2008. Um, even though this doesn't say that it's for Windows 7, Windows Vista and Windows 7 can pretty much use the same drivers. So that's the only PCL 32 um, 32-bit driver for Windows Vista. So that's the one I'm going to have to download. So go ahead and click on that. And then over here to the right it says download now. And it's going to prompt you to save the file. Go ahead and click save. Internet Explorer might ask you where you want to save it. You can save it to the desktop. That's fine. That way you can delete it when you're done it'll take just a moment to download depending on your internet connection alright now that that's done downloading we can double click it to open it or an in internet explorer it might just give you the option to open and it's asking do you, are you sure you want to run this file yes we want to run it just click next I accept the terms and license agreement. Click next. Um, it's just a default place it's going to install. You might take note of that. Lexmark backslash drivers. Click next. Now the printer wizard's going to pop up and we're going to click on local printer even though this printer is connected via the network it is not a network printer because it's not on a server and it is not hosted on another computer so it is considered a local printer and then we're going to create a printer port and the port we're going to create is a TCP IP port click next and you should have the IP address of your copier if you're setting this up um, if you don't um, might contact your IT people or um, if this has already been set up on other computers and the copier is already set up with an IP um, the IP address should be on the screen of the copier um, our 
IP we're working with is 192.168.1.66 and go ahead and click next and we're gonna click on have disk since we downloaded the driver and this little box tells us where the driver is located see Lexmark drivers system XL 32 Vista backslash drivers yada 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 so we're gonna basically follow that and just click on computer go to C and we're gonna go to Lexmark go to drivers system XL 32 drivers print it's pretty much the only place you can go and the language folder don't select English we're just gonna go down to the bottom where it says LMAC MC40 double click that file click OK now it's gonna list all the machines we're working with the 651 so select the 651 click next and printer name we can rename it anything we want um, that gives it a default name go ahead and click next now it's going to install our printer Then it's going to ask you if you want to share the printer. Uh, we don't want to share it, just click next. And then we can print a test page. Test page has been sent to your printer. Just to verify, you can go to the printer and um, check that it actually did print out. Click finish. And that's it. We're done with setting up a print driver for a Lexmark copier. That concludes the video tutorial. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, hightechhowto at gmail.com, or give us a call in Lawton at 580-357-4243, or Wichita Falls at 940-691-0111. Uh, feel free to leave some comments. Let us know if there's anything we can add to these videos that would help. Um, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel.